Okay, so here we've got some random hardware lying around that we're going to use to upgrade the Dell Octoplex 3070 that we've seen in previous video. So I've got here a GDX 1050 Ti, right? This is a version that does not require any external power, right? So this is from MSI. Okay, then we've got two sticks of 8 gig, right? Uh, DDR4 running at 2666. So these are Hypex Fury 6. Then I've got, um, so this is a M.2 SATA SSD at 128 gig. And we've got a heating, right? So Theoretically, you should peel this off before you put the heatsink, but I'm not going to do that. Um, we will just slap the heatsink on and that should be better than nothing. Right, and additionally, something that we will look at later, I've got this tiny um, nylon standoff. Okay, uh, we'll see why we need this later. Okay, so... Let's start this off by putting the heatsink on. Bring over the desktop. Okay, so taking a quick look around, once again, we have one sixteen minute slot. 3 1x slots, then we've got two DIMMs, uh, and dot two for Wi Fi. So I've already installed this because it's a pain in the ass to install on camera. Uh, then we've got one more send off here, and then from here we have up here, uh, let me angle the camera a little bit. Up here we've got a uh, space for two. 2.5 inch uh, drives but we don't have the drive cages so if we did like a, just a SSD so this will be fine just let it hang in there should be fine okay we can just stuff to in there um, yep there is no space for any more drives and there's only three <coughs> um, SATA connectors uh, so if you put two in here you probably have to pull this one off and put it there and of course, there's no spare cable. <clears throat> but nice to see that the, the SATA power is there. Okay, so about that standoff. So this does not come with a standoff. It does come with a stopper, but the stopper does not work as a standoff. So looked around a little bit, right? And tried a few things. Just found out that, hey, technically, yeah, a standard uh, nylon standoff just works perfectly. So just manual of screwing that in, right? Getting an SSD. Okay, let's zoom you in and installing that. Right, and that works perfectly fine. So the only thing is that well, it doesn't give a grounding point to the SSD from the back. But it's generally not an issue. And there we have it. SSD install. Quick fix. Right. Then we've got our two um, DIMMs, which we're going to install here. Right. And second DIMM. Okay. Then lastly, last upgrade we can do is to upgrade the 
review so I've removed the brackets today if yours still has it you would have to remove it sometimes you may have to break it off so you see what you need to do right so just line it up and press down it should click into place then just push the latch back I'm just going to angle the camera down so this is the latch we're talking about just line it up make sure that it's firmly in there right. then just push it up and that will latch it place and that's it done no power no power cable this is a very quick and easy build and this folds perfectly fine okay so GPU uh, does not interfere with anything max length you can fit into this case it's about 22 centimeters before you hit the power connector so I have tried it with a longer card that does hit the power connector um, yeah not ideal don't go beyond 22 centimeters I would say 23 is kind of iffy maybe if you had a, like a hole at the back of the power supply you could clear that you know uh, GPU you could clear the power connector but I uh, wouldn't advise it if it's a single slot it would definitely clear it so it's fine yep okay so that's done All right theoretical upgrades that you can go further uh, power supply is going to be difficult to upgrade but as it is uh, this should be sufficient the heatsink also something very difficult to upgrade but in testing it keeps the uh, CPU cool enough you could upgrade the CPU to an i7 right so currently this is a 9400 so it's an i5 with an i GPU then like I was mentioning earlier you can put in two more drives here uh, the RAM can go up to 32 by putting in 2 16 gig dims and that's most of what you can do to upgrade it you can upgrade the expansion slot speed but generally that's not really any use uh, you can put in another one x slot on top of the gpu and one at the bottom but once again it really depends on your use case right yep besides that there's nothing much more to do in this case so i'm gonna close it up then we're gonna bench it and see what kind of performance we get out of this dell optiplex 70 30 70 Okay, catch you in a bit. Okay, so I've got the 370 setup here. Uh, then uh, basically, this is coming from. Okay, this is coming from this and uh, okay, that monitor. So uh, it's plugged into a 1050 Ti. And I'm going to bench it like that just to give it its best shot at my internal recording. Okay, so. With the tripod there i'm going to be using a wireless mouse right and this dell keyboard so let's see what we can get with this so first things first is the display settings so this is a 1440p monitor okay So we are at 1440p. Uh, we'll test it in 1440p first and uh, then we'll drop it to 1080 or 720 and see what happens. So I'm gonna run Heaven real quick. Okay, so let's pull up. MSR to burner. So I do have this overclock. Slightly, okay, plus 150 megahertz on the core and 300 megahertz on the memory. Yep. Okay, let's start this off in full screen at system resolution, so that's 1440p. Uh, we're gonna go direct X11, quality high, yep, let's go high, tessellation disabled, uh, multi button disabled. Okay, and let's run that. Uh, 
just a note, I don't have a speaker hooked up to this, so there's no sound. <laughs> right, uh, so looking at the top right hand corner, we are at uh, 46 degrees Celsius for on the GPU and 38 on the CPU. And we're at about 40 frames per second. I'm just going to hit bench mark and let that run. So probably fast forward this part. Okay, so here we have it. We came out at an average of 40.9. Let's go to 1003. Okay, 1030. So GPU temperature is currently sitting at about 68. Uh, CPU at about 43. So it is decently well in uh, 40 p but I'd say 1080 is where you should be so let's quit this and run this again in 1080 and for the rest of the benchmarks I'm going to stick to 1080 I'm just clicking a peek at Task Manager. We are using about 3 gig of RAM. 100% of that. And we are using 9500 and i5. 16 gig of RAM in dual channel, 2666. Yeah, 1080 Ti. Okay, 1050 Ti, what am I saying? <laughs> connect over. Ethernet. Okay, so we're gonna benchmark this again. So this probably might turn out a bit worse than normal because the GPU is already hot. It's already sitting at 63 degrees Celsius and CPU is sitting at well now 50 50 ish 48. Alright, so there we have it. GPU is seeing a nice 70 degrees Celsius, which is very decent. Uh, CPU went up to about 60, which is still perfectly acceptable. So we finished with an average of 72.2 frames per second and a score of 18.18. Okay, so let's get out of this. We're gonna bench a few games, so I'll be back in a bit after I launch the game. Okay, so here we are in Rocket League. Uh, and like I was saying, we don't have any sound, so it's a little bit sad. <laughs> and well, I'm going to be playing on like crappy peripherals, but whatever, right? So in the menu, we are sitting at a cool 75 frames per second, which is good. Um, I'm a very casual player, so let's see what I can find. Alright, you're just gonna jump into the game and we'll go from there.
definitely not fun playing without uh, without uh, sound. We're sitting at about still good 75 frames a second. Oh, I did not actually check my temperature. I don't know. Settings. What am I running at? Uh, control interface video. Uh, okay, we'll look at it later. <laughs> Let's keep going first. We are locked at 75. Okay, so taking a look at what settings we're running at, we are at 1440p. Uh, quality, high quality, high quality. Yeah, render detail, let's go quality and see what happens. So we are still at 75 frames per second. Go higher, right? We are at 1440p. Let's go high quality. We are still at very nice frame rates. Hmm. Okay. So. That's that, right? 40 p mm, 75 frames per second locked. Okay, on to the next game. Get you in a bit. Okay, so here we are in Tomb Raider. We are going to go at 1440p. 60 hertz. Uh, well, because my monitor is only 60 hertz. Uh, v Sync technically we can turn it off. Uh, full screen yes, exclusive full screen. Uh, monitor expert ratio auto quality normal. Motion blow off, so let's try with that. And well, uh, yeah, okay, so as you can see, I've not played this actually. We're gonna just ban benchmark it. So, in the menu, we've dropped to fifth. The two frames per second. Frame times are very good, constant, consistent frame times. So <laughs> there's this benchmark. Uh, 
Honestly, not a game that I've really played all that much. Right. right. Uh, I'll be back. So, we're gonna load up um, Fortnite soon. Okay, so here we are in Fortnite. Um, we are in full screen, 1440p, uh, 60 frames per second. Right. Um, we are gonna go into uh, competitive settings. So, quality at low, view distance at epic, uh, everything else off. Okay, uh, motion blow off. Rendering mode. Uh, okay, gonna have to restart. 12. Nope, okay, never mind. We're gonna go. Direct uh, X11. Uh, multi trading on, GPU, crash debugging, blah blah blah. Okay, so basically everything on low or off except for view distance 3D resolution okay um, yeah let's go with that okay um, that's just going to the team member so So that we don't, you know, <laughs> end up being a pain in, a pain in the ass and uh, annoying other people. So let's see what you get. So we're currently at uh, 60 frames per second in the menu. Cafe looks pretty terrible. Let's see. Maybe I'll push it up a little bit. If I cannot take it. I'm still using this crappy mouse, so I might suck at this. But whatever, right? I'll be skipping through accordingly. Yeah, let's change the graphic a little bit. Let's set, set everything to medium. So we are at 60. It's going to be a bit hard for you to see. Let's just go there. There we go, the region map. That's some crazy stuff. He had a bazooka. I need to find some health. Bye. <laughs> Easy kill. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop recording this here. We have a fixed 60 frames per second. Okay, so with that, basically all the games, uh, programs that I have benched work pretty well. So this little PC, it's a pretty decent 
gaming PC, especially at 1440p, I'm surprised, right? 60 frames per second, no high refresh rate, but decent enough. Uh, you can do 75 if you can get 75 uh, hertz refresh monitor. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Thanks for watching.